morning YouTube. It's 4.24 in the morning. Uh, we're heading out on a little adventure. Gonna pick up something kind of cool. So I will keep you posted as we go. We've got about uh, three and a half hours of driving ahead of us and then uh, three and a half back home. Okay, well, I didn't want to uh, videotape at the cellars. I uh, didn't know how I'd feel about that, but uh, there's what we went for. It's an ideal hit and miss lawnmower engine. Uh, I'm not sure of the date. I'll try to figure it out. There's no data plate on it. The uh, the data plates were attached to the lawnmowers, and they didn't weren't attached to the engines. And sometimes you'll see them that people remove from the lawnmower when they took the engine, but not this one. Anyway, uh, got to head home. Got uh, a few hours of driving ahead of me. Okay, well, a couple of days have passed. Got the uh, engine home. So this is a late teens, early 1920s, ideal hit and miss lawnmower engine. Uh, it is complete. Uh, the exhaust was hooked up to the intake and the in uh, the uh, mixer or carburetor was hooked up to the exhaust. I currently have the mixer off for cleaning. All I've done with it since I got it home was just lube everything. Um, and it doesn't look like it's going to take much to get running. It's free. It's got great compression. Um, I'm thinking just a good cleaning. Uh, all new grease in the grease caps. That's kind of like gummy uh, old grease so we'll clean all that out get it replaced hook up a buzz coil and battery get the mixer back on and I think we'll be ready to go so anyway if you like what you see uh, want to see more on my channel you can uh, down below on YouTube hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it for notifications uh, if there's anything you want to see want to talk about uh, please feel free to comment and I'll read all the comments and get back to you all right take care